It's, okay, so quickly. Yeah. LeBron pose. All right, I wouldn't expect anything oh, less than you. It? Wouldn't expect anything less. Okay, uh, camps, clinics. We we're talking about it today earlier. You've been doing this since you were like a kid, like a college kid, right? Doing like like just going, going around and showing technique yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff, right? I never went to camps when I was when I was a wrestler in like K through eight high school or anything like that. <laughs> just like the Fargo camp to training camp to get ready. Uh, you know, I played I played baseball and football my whole life, so it's like I didn't wrestle in the summer until like eighth, eighth, ninth grade. You know, I started going to Fargo and stuff like that. So I never really did camps. Um, and then when I was in college, I started doing them a little bit. Uh, and right after I graduated is when I got heavy into doing a lot of camps. And uh, you know, it's helped. It's helped. It's helped you really understand some of the positions that you know. I've always been able to do some of the leg attack defense and the cradle stuff. But uh, explaining it's a whole nother level, right? A lot of great wrestlers um, can do, but can they teach? And um, having doing so many camps and clinics has really honed honed my ability to communicate what I want to what I want to when it comes to certain situations and positions. So you know, like it, it, like you're saying, doing is way different than explaining, right? right. Yeah. So it's like what Ben Askren does. That's not easy to explain. No, no, so much actually, feel to everything, he, too, right? Yeah. He he stopped by Columbus uh, about a week or two ago, and we we had the same discussion. You know, uh, like how did you develop this? And I was like, you know, I've I kind of always done it, and it, not a lot of it was taught to me. I mean, I had excellent coaches, but some of the unique things that I do were just kind of kind of you know made up and you know tinkered with and, and troubleshooting and then being able to communicate it to whether it's the college team or, or a camp or whatnot how I learned how to do that was just by doing camps you know what I mean and think thinking about the position on your way up to a camp and you're like all right how do you how do you want to progress through the lesson plan right I mean that's what we're doing when we do camps or clinics is we're, we're, we have a lesson plan and we want to kind of stick to it and we might branch off a little bit but how do you weave it all in to make sense and uh, that's what I've tried to the craft that I've tried to hone when it comes to camps or clinics to make it you know not just arbitrary move here's a move an unrelated move an unrelated move I try to kind of tie it all together sequentially okay so like Tom Ryan's the CEO guy right <laughs> You're the room guy. Terrell's the room guy. Like you still wrestle a ton. Uh, yeah, less and less. I mean, the RTC helps out a ton, right? I mean, to the fact that we have we have available post grads that can be excellent partners for for the guys in the room. But uh, yeah, I still wrestle during the season way more. Um, Travell does do a he probably the heaviest dosage of, of the teaching technically. He's he's a he's a wizard technically, man. I'm still learning and picking things off of him. So uh, being coaching with him the last couple of years has been a blessing. Uh, Coach Ryan does a lot of coaching too. I mean, a lot of one-on-one -on -one individual work with guys. We all kind of share the uh, the practice duties. So it's not a you know we're. We're a really cohesive unit who doesn't care who gets the credit and who's running the practice. There's, there's not a lot of ego there. And I think that's why we're having the success we're having is it's really healthy. And, um, you know, I just try to, I try to help out wherever I can, you know, whether it's being, you know, the guy who keeps stuff off Tom's desks, you know, and kind of the traffic cop, making sure everything's running smoothly because he, so he can be big picture guy or whether it's the technical stuff with Travell. But I'm somewhere in between, I would say. Okay, so you guys just got the best facility, standing facility, standalone facility in the world. Um, yeah, that's me saying, I said world, I, mean, I, I feel it is. That's yeah. just my opinion. And, um, you know, I'm not, yeah, I'm not just this Ohio State homer, like, right. it, it's the best. No, you right? hate us, historically. Yes, sure, whatever, <laughs> right? But, like, speaking, you guys have, the, it's the best facility um, in the world, right? I mean, and... And it's, it's a college facility. Looking at it, you guys do such an incredible job with it. But what do you think of having competition arena yeah. attached to a five-mat room with everything, one-stop shop for your athletes? What's that like being in that new facility? You, you said it's a little kind of almost like naked a little bit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of post-build stuff that still needs to go in there. Um, so if you swung by right now, it'll, it, it's, it's going to look way different in the fall. But, uh, you know, it's like every day. 
one I'm like learning like a new thing like oh I didn't know that this was this was here or or, or something new shows up you know like a video game system for the lounge or whatever so, uh, that, so huh? yeah it's kind of fun and uh, we're still kind of outfitting our our individual offices which is probably the biggest perk you know the last 10 years I've either been in a cubicle yes, yes. next to coach Roselli or in a back office with Travell and Ralph which I love all all of those guys dearly but sometimes you just want your own office so that's kind of the coolest part personally uh that i like but um every day you're just you know when, when i'm walking into it i just I, I i mean i'm like i'm thinking about all of the people who who made it possible um starting with coach ryan his vision um our administration and gene smith and then all of all of our boosters and donors that 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 financially contributed to make it happen man it's really humbling that they would invest that much time energy and effort into into something that is without question really important, man. Ohio State wrestling, but but there's just a lot of there's a lot of items out there in the world that people can be passionate about, and for them to be passionate about our sport, that uh, that I that I'm as, as equally as passionate about is pretty cool. So you know you got the number one recruiting class, right? Uh, they're pretty good. Yeah, and, they, and people would the, say that's the Ralph effect, but we've had number one classes listen, before. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let's just talk about Anthony Ralph. First off, Jedi. Yeah. Anthony yeah, Ralph's a, a Jedi. Beast. And you grew up like you were an Anthony Ralph fan growing oh, up yeah, because yeah. he was a two time state champ at yeah. Chanel where you went. So I know you, you used to you actually used to come to Kent Duels every now and yeah, again. He's my hero, man. He was Dude, my hero awesome for sure. Awesome guy. Really good friend of mine. Love the guy, right? He's one of the best. What's that guy like being that having that guy on board? He's an all timer, man. One of the best people you'll ever meet. I mean, I, 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 I'd press you to find somebody that would have something bad to say about the guy. I mean, he'll do anything for anybody, anytime. And um, he's the one when, when, when I was, he was about six or seven years older than me. So growing up, you know, in, in youth wrestling and in, in middle school wrestling, he was the guy I just looked to to like, he was the example that you just wanted to be like, oh, work as hard as him and you'll be all right. You know, I remember a, a specific story one time. My dad gave him some advice on, on some weight cutting uh, techniques because he was, he, was, he was a big guy and cut down. He was cutting down to like 57, I think, in college at Kent. And he was struggling and my dad gave him some tips. And um, <clears throat> the next morning, my dad was a roofer. He went to work at like 6.30 in the morning or something, went out to his car and it was, you know, snowing or something. He had a note on his car <clears throat> from Anth that said, so he, and, and we found out later, he didn't even tell us this, but he ran to our house from Walton Hills, which was like round trip. We're talking about like an eight mile run maybe from his house to mine. And uh, it was a note It said like, hey, Mr. Jaggers, I tried, I tried your advice. It worked great. I lost like a pound and a half. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Thanks. And he ran the note over, probably part of his workout, but like that's who he was, you know. And uh, just a little small story, but um, yeah, man, we're, we're, I'm blessed to have him as one of my best friends. I get to work alongside him. Our program is, is blessed to have him and, and his work, eth work, work ethic as our recruiting coordinator and, and, and director of operations, and uh, he's irreplaceable. Where do you guys go from here? Obviously, the national title, you've done it. You've climbed the mountain. You're on the staff. You need more of them. Uh, right? I mean, you need more, <laughs> you need right? More I mean, you're, you split them two four-peats. You split the two four-peats, right? You split the two four-peats. You you're the, that, you're yeah. the middle of No, you did. Yeah. That's, that's a fact, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? You split the two four-peats between Penn State, and, you know, they got two national champs coming back. You got an unbelievable class coming in. How do you guys, you know, it's like we're chasing each – you know you're chasing them, right? Yeah, man. They're they're they've listen as much as they're they're our our worst enemy, and they're they're you know hanging up titles that we want. Um, I don't know if we'd be as strong of a program as we are without them. <clears throat> you know the fact that we are chasing them, and um, you know that's just that's just the fact. I mean they're they're incredible. Kale does a great job. His crew does a great job. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, I think that. You know, you drop our team from last year and any other era, any other year, and that's a national championship team. I mean, well, it's the highest scoring runner-up team ever. I mean, eight guys that are top six and it doesn't win the title, that hurts. But um, the fact that we had them on the ropes as they returned five national champs, you know, there's, there's, there's something to hang your hat on there. But again, if, unless you win the title, I guess it really doesn't matter, you know, um, from the eyes of a lot of people. But we love our group. We just want to keep developing guys that <clears throat> are chasing their goals and uh, that love wrestling and love Ohio State wrestling and and uh, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them here soon. I don't know when. I don't know how soon. But um, I think the rivalry is fantastic for the sport. 
and like I said, I respect those guys a lot. Everything they've done, their some of they've had some transcendent athletes, man, as have we. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't think the sport's ever been healthier. You guys, like I asked you or Tom Ryan, hey, can I video this? Hey, can I interview? It's very easy access. He he likened you guys to like what NFL Films did for the NFL. Why are you guys so easy and accessible? Whereas they're not as accessible, you know, as yeah, far well, as you know, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you know, their methodology or anything. But why like is it so important to you guys to be so available? I guess it's. I, I wouldn't say. I mean, I'm. 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 Uh, I'm neither here nor there. I mean, if 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 people if people want some access into what we're doing, because they find it interesting, then I think that you know we also. Besides, you know, our duty to try to win and stuff to our university, we are kind of in a, in a, uh, some sort of servant role to where we want to serve the community of wrestling. So if if somebody wants to click on, ha, has enough time and and energy and and they want to click on a video of me teaching a wrestling move, then I think they should be able to. So uh, you know, and I know, luckily, you know, in my life, I'm, you know, I don't need to try to monetize it or anything like that. So it's. If anybody wants to watch my wrestling, then you know they should be able to. All right, where do you go here from, from here? Where are you guys at? What's the oh, summer? Home. Summer. <laughs> what do you do for summer? Fire uh, recruiting. Uh, we got our camps coming up, so camps start on Sunday. Um, our Ohio State camps. Are you twenty four seven on this, or is that? Anthony? Uh, they're 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 one week in June. It's about eight days from like Sunday to Sunday, and then we have two weeks off over last weekend in June and July. 4th of July, and then we start again 17, I'm sorry, 7, 7 through 15, I think. Okay. Um, so we only do two weeks, but they're, but they're grinder weeks, man. They're eight days, and there's a lot of sessions, and we have different camps spread across different days. So I guess that's the big focus thing. And then just getting our, our freshmen that, are, that just moved in a week ago to the dorms and, and are on campus for the first time, and um, just, just RTC practices and stuff like that. So you're just now you're there, it's on all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're there. Unless we're there you're at a recruiting event. Yeah, we're, Fargo. I mean, I mean we're, at, we're at the office all, well, you know, every day. So, I mean, there's not, you know, my neighbors and stuff ask me that. When they think of wrestling, they're like, oh, you're a wrestling coach. Cool, so you get the summers off. I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> we don't. You know what I mean? Any international travel for you? Uh, Greg made the team. Would you be something that you would do? Um, I don't know. We'll and Chase. Depends. Chase and yeah, Greg Chase, both made Chase, the team, right? Chase and uh, Kirk Flea both made it. Uh, we haven't we haven't decided who's going to go there, and we got to see when it is. I think it, I think the U23s is end of October, yeah, early it's late. November. It's so late. that's right, getting into our, our varsity schedule. That's tough, man. Yeah, I know. It's that's tough. why the juniors would have been nice because that's like mid August. Yeah, but um, it's then, tough though. I'm saying then you they put them on the mat two weeks later for a duel. Yeah, because Miles did that. Yeah, at, at wrestled, Maryland in Maryland. They wrestled. Well, he wrestled that before. They wrestled oh, the yeah, Maryland duel, that's then they right. went to U23s, and then they wrestled the Cliff King tough. tournament. That's tough. So, yeah. So, I mean, obviously, Kirk Lee and Singletary, there are two heavyweights, so one of them, one of them won't be, you know, yeah. wrestling. So, um, I know the plan is probably for Kirk Lee to redshirt, so Chase, Chase would have to come back uh, from U23s and, and get in that lineup pretty quick because, you know, we, we need him to win, to win dual meets too because that's important as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And I think probably Tervell, hopefully, fingers crossed, Kyle has a good performance at Final X, makes another team, and we'll see who goes with over there to uh, Kazakhstan. All right, you got anything else for me? I got nothing. Go Tribe, man. Go Tribe, man. We need, we need about Stay awake need, for those games. We need about right? a 20. Stay awake for those walk-offs, all right? We're not even going to talk while you fell asleep, all right? <laughs> we, yeah, I fell asleep listening to a Stever interview, man. Guys, guy put me to sleep. <laughs> Like three minutes in, my wife woke me up on the couch last night, and the tribe walked it off. So. But we need about 30 more in a row yeah. to catch the twins. So, <laughs> Hey, thanks for the time. Right, good luck, and I will catch up with you guys. I'll be down for a tour this summer, all right? Sounds good.